Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and here is an ebook haul for y'all. So, I have a lot of Kindle Unlimited books. I have, I think, one um, arc that I have to mention, and all the rest are free. So, let's get into this. We're going to talk about all the ebooks that I ended up downloading last month in February. First one is A Polar Expedition by Cass O'Shire. I downloaded this because of Tiffany. Okay, she was raving to me about the second book in the series, and she was like, The first one's good, but the second one is like so much better. And I was like, Okay, but I do also want to read book number one. So, we're going to do that. It looks like this is like a polar bear shifter or even like monster romance book. I don't know, but I need to get to number two because I think number two is like an orc single dad one or single mom. I don't know, single parent one. It looks so stinking good. So I want to read number one to get to number two. So I'm taking your recommendation, Tiffany. I'm currently reading this one. I've just been not really reading eBooks lately, but I am in the middle of this. I've read like a few chapters. This is Here With You by Tori L. James. This one I picked last month for anxiety representation. I think our heroine goes to this resort or getaway place or something for like a bachelorette or a wedding. I think it's a wedding. Anyway, she has an anxiety attack. And I think the hero who works there, his family owns this place ends up helping her through it but then they go their separate ways and he like completely regrets it he's like i need to find this woman because i think she's the love of my life low-key so <laughs> then i have behind the broken by chloe c panoranda this is on kindle limited like i said and i think this is a romance between our heroine whose dad is running for president and the bodyguard that was hired for her which love bodyguard romances then is burning ivy by brandy hines this is a dark mafia book this came out last month so it looks like her heroine needs a husband to receive her inheritance and the hero needs a wife so they get married and there's like some dark elements going on in here like secrets and stuff it's a dark mafia romance so I want to get to this one very soon. The cover is really interesting to me. I'm currently also reading this one. I started it like yesterday. It's actually really fun so far. This is Her Alien Farmhand by Honey Phillips. I don't know why, but I love alien romances that take place on a farm. Like there are so many of them and I think they're so fun. The heroine of the story goes to visit her friend in the city. She's kind of needing more money. She's trying to find a job in the city. And while she's there, her friend actually ends up setting her up on a blind date that she doesn't really want, but then she ends up meeting the guy. And um, he ends up sparking some stuff in her, okay? And he is a farmer. And I think he hires her to work on the farm and stuff. I don't know why, but farmer monster romances get me. One that is on my March TBR is The Scattered Bones, which is a dark fantasy romance by Nicole Scarano. Scarano. What I did in my TBR video, I'll just do here. I only read the tagline, which had me intrigued. It says, I will love you until I am nothing but dust. And even then I'll still love you. Say less. That sounds so good. I haven't even read the whole summary. Okay. I don't want to go in. I just want to go blind, but it is only like 276 pages, which if it's like a shorter fantasy romance, that is definitely my speed. The one arc that I did receive in February is Of Sword and Silver by January Bell. I've read one January Bell book. It was the first book in her like uh, Alien Bride series. It was actually really fun. I need to continue on with those books. Um, but I was asked if I wanted a copy of this arc and I was like, of course, this gun comes out on March 7, which may be already passed by the time this video goes out. I don't know, but um, I haven't pulled up on my Kindle. I've not started it yet. I know I need to. This is, I think, a fantasy romance by her. It says, we were supposed to hate each other, but I need him if I want to live. I stole from the wrong mark, a disciple of the death god. Instead of a, a priceless treasure, I'm left with a killer curse. The only one who can stop it, a dark warrior known as the sword, the most feared of all the death god's worshippers. To make things worse, he's currently rotting in a cell for murdering a follower of my goddess. But I've never let a little thing like the law stop me, and I certainly won't now, not when the most important thing to me is my life. I managed to break the sword out of prison and he swears to help me find a cure to the blood curse to return for in return for his freedom. We have to learn to rely on each other and manage to build a grudging respect that might just be turning into something more. No matter what he says though, the sword seems to have his own agenda on my quest for a cure. If I want to live, I have to find out his plan before it's too late. That sounds really good. It's on the like shorter side. Oh my goodness. And then like the people cover is beautiful as well. Yes. Okay. I love both of these. They're so pretty. It's only uh, 324 pages. So love that for me. All the rest of the books in this video are books that I downloaded for free and I'll let y'all know if they're still free or not. So this is The Sins We Hide by Scarlet Cole. This one is about Gwen and Clutch. 
it's a motorcycle friends to lover friends to enemies to lovers romance which i saw friends to enemies to lovers and didn't even read anything else because i love that okay so it says the boy i loved is now the fearless vice president of the iron outlaws mc and he hates me because of something that happened years ago it's not my fault his father ended up inside for my life because of that night but that doesn't stop him from holding me captive until i tell him what happened except i can't because not knowing is why I'm back here in this cesspit. Then Clutch says, the girl I once loved is now the enemy of my club, even though she's also the sister of my best friend and our club's new president. I don't care that trouble brings her to my door looking for help. She doesn't deserve our protection until she tells me a secret that stands everything we know about the club on end. Sins well hidden killed what chance of happiness we once had, but now they're going to kill her. Sounds ominous, sounds good. It has a lot of ratings and they're great. So I'm looking forward to that. Next is My Monster Valentine by Amy Wright. It's still available to download for free. And I don't think it's gonna be up for much longer because it says a limited edition monster romance anthology. So we have um, monster romance uh, stories, by a lot of people. Um, the only one that I recognize is Leon Riley. I don't really know all the other ones, so I need to look into them, but I do love anthologies like this because it introduces me to new authors, which is always fun. Then I have Wolf God by Veronica Douglas. This one looked so fun to me. I think I read the book like summary and it was so fun. It says, the dark wolf god was a monster of legend, a shifter so powerful that he could lay waste to the world and make alphas bow before him. I didn't believe he was real. Then four weeks ago, he attacked my pack and nearly ended my life. Now he's claimed me. When a war with the Fae threatens his realm, he tears from my world to make me his captive. He believes I have the power to free him from a curse. But unless I figure out what kind of magic I have, he'll never let me go. He's my enemy and there's no denying the heat between us or the bond that ties us together. Should I defy the monster or could the man behind the beast be redeemed? So it's like a shifter monster-ish romance. Then I saw Midnight with the Devil for free. Um, this is by Emma Castle. It is still currently free. Also, by the time I post this video, some of these books might not be free anymore. So please don't be mad at me if they're not, even though I say they are. So yeah, I don't know when they'll be removed or not from being free. Um, I'm just going off what is current, which is on March 3rd right now, so. Mar as of March 3rd, they're free. I love Emma Castle's books. She wrote one of my books that I love up there um, that my friend Aspatia got me. Thank you so much, Aspatia. She got me um, Love in the Wild, which is a Tarzian retelling. And I've read quite a few of her books. She doesn't have a large backlist. So I think I only haven't read this one and like one other one by her. In Deanna Kingston's defense, it was the middle of the night in the hospital. Surely it was just a dream. She hadn't really sold herself to a stranger to save her father's life, right? Her price? Her and his bed. This has to be a dream, right? Only her father now fully recovered and a mysterious letter arrives from the tall, dark, handsome devil. Yep, that's right on the contract. Lucian Star, aka Lucifer Morningstar. Their devil's bargain begins and Diana vows not to enjoy the dark pleasures he shows her. But the more time she spends with Lucian, the more she's drawn to the angel hidden deep within his darkness. How in heaven do you save the devil from himself? I really love Emma Castle's book, so I hope to like this one. It sounds really good. Then is Sincerely the Puck Bunny, which is by Marin Moore. I've been really wanting to read Marin Moore's books. She's written this like baseball romance that I really want to read. It looks so cute. Anyway, um, this is a surprise pregnancy hockey romance, which I love both of those things. Briggs Wilson, the NHL's most notorious bad boy, isn't actually who anyone, everyone thinks he is. He's kind, compassionate, loyal, and plot twist. The best baby daddy ever. Yep, you read that, right? One weekend, one mind-blowing weekend that ended with me having a baby with someone I barely knew. We had a plan. Co-parent, raise our daughter, and put her first always. Too bad I never considered actually falling for my charming baby daddy. Even better, he wanted our family more than anything. The problem? I have a secret. One that could destroy everything. So that sounds really fun. I'm actually really in the surprise baby mood so next is passion and venom by shanora williams this is still currently available to download for free i've heard a lot of my friends really love this author and this book specifically so i just downloaded it i think it's like a dark trilogy romance i don't really know a lot about it but i know my friends love it so i just got it then is heart of a cowboy by tessa lane this is a small town fake engagement enemies to lovers romance a lot of tropes there this is still currently free to download blake sinclair has the perfect plan to reclaim ranch land from his spiteful next door neighbor warren hansen and it doesn't include warren's daughter maddie the brilliant scrawny little girl next door has grown into a gorgeous temptress with a sassy smart mouth that drives him to the edge of reason but thanks to a soul shuddering kiss during a moment of weakness 
witness Blake moves to end their family's feuding once and for all. Only Maddie has other ideas and nothing can convince her to leave her dream job and return home, especially not the sexy, bossy, grouchy cowboy next door. Blake is trouble with a capital T and hell bent on waging war with her equally overbearing father. So no one's as surprised as she when she decides to go along with Blake's scheme. What's a little PDA and a fake engagement as long as Blake keeps up a steady supply of toe curling kisses in private? Because who could catch feelings for their enemy? let alone fall in love with one. That sounds so stinking fun. Can you not tell I'm like in a cowboy romance mood? I have a few cowboys. The next one is cowboy. This is Rivers Between Us, a small town Western romance by Greta Rose West. This is still currently available to download for free. Looks like this is the first book in a series. Sheriff of Teton County, Carrie Michaels, puts everyone else's needs before his own, always. But when his ex-best friend shows up in his life again with a 10-year-old daughter and a mountain of problems in tow, he has to decide if he can handle his heart being broken again. Francesca Morris feels safer in her Wyoming hometown and her daughter Grace is certainly safer than she was in Texas, but the threat of their lives still lingers even in a whisper. The boy she used to love wants to protect her, but doubts and insecurities hit hard and Franny can't stand to hurt Carrie again. Even if he is the big bad sheriff, Carrie is all man now, and he never leaves home without his handcuffs. But it isn't locks Franny's afraid of, it's her heart. Next is Nikki the Driver by KC Wells. This is the second book in her Underboss Insurrection series. Um, I did download book number one, which I think is titled Run, Posey, Run. So I have that one also. So I just saw book number two for free. I got it. Anything by an author that I already know, I just download their books without reading the summary. So the same thing goes with Brutal Billionaire by Laura Lynn Page. This is like a standalone billionaire romance novel. Don't know anything about it. Don't want to know anything about it. But it's Laura Lynn Page. Love Laura Lynn Page. So I got it. Another one with an author. I just picked up the book. I didn't even read it. Is A Full Start by Elsie Silver. This is the fourth book in her Gold Rush Ranch series. I've only read book number one. Haven't read the other ones. But this was free for like a day, I think, in February. So I got it. I think this is about the sister of the characters from the series I have read, like that series right there, um, the Chestnut Spring series. I think this is their sister's romance. And then that's what links the series together, you know? So I'm looking forward to this. Um, but I have to read the other books before I get to this one. Anyway, so you have it. Those are all the books that I ended up downloading recently, specifically in February. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to, but if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a pink heart emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I'll see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all!